Right now, it's New York's number one news with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Ryan Field with sports, and meteorologist Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. This is a ginormous night in terms of importance for those who live in about a million rent-stabilized apartment buildings in New York, and a big night for those who rent them out. The Rent Guidelines Board, about to take a final vote on rent hikes for the next year. Also new at 6 o'clock, new information about a man accused of stealing a car with a baby inside. It turns out he's been arrested several times before for car thefts. But first, bracing for potentially dangerous heat. It's going to last for several days, and in some areas, temperatures will feel like more than 100 degrees. And good evening, everyone, at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. Liz is off tonight. The news of the day is the news of the week, a week of extreme heat, even before summer officially arrives. Today was warm, but it was a comfortable warm. A great day to be on the beach, like here in Asbury Park. But by the end of the week, we're officially going to have a heat wave, and some areas could well have feel-like temperatures in the triple digits. No shocker, folks are now being urged to take precautions. We're going to check in with New Jersey reporter Tony Yates in Newark in just a moment, but because in the Christ state... Uh, moving from Barclays Center to UBS Arena on Long Island, because the Brooklyn venue is hosting the NBA draft the following night. All right, somewhere in the world, Lee Goldberg is getting to watch his Celtics play for a chance at their 18th championship. Coverage at 5 tonight, or rather game 5 at 8 p.m. tonight right here on Channel 7. And you might, if you're watching really close, might see Lee. Yeah. Is, that, is that where he is? Yeah, he is might be. <laughs> you know, he is. Listen, we all know Lee Goldberg is a fanatic fan of all things Boston, but certainly the Celtics. Yes, and, certainly, yes. Uh, Jeffrey and I may actually watch in the sports in the weather center. Because they won that. Though. There you go. That's exactly right. Uh, David Muir is next with World News Tonight and will return tonight after the NBA Finals. Until then, have a safe night. Should I